Colonel John Mayer, I'm the commanding officer of the Marine Corps' Wounded Warrior Regiment. What we're doing is a two-day professional military education field trip, if you will, up to uh, Gettysburg. All of the Marines are at a critical point in their lives. Almost all of them, right off the battlefield, wounded or critically injured, serving our country. And now they've got to uh, face many challenges that will affect them uh, and what they do in their careers and in their personal lives and professional lives uh, forever. All right, this is where the battle formally begins. You know, before we start talking about the fighting, let me talk just a minute about tactics and weapons because you got to kind of understand and understand what's going to happen here over these next three days. And in fact, what had happened during the two years previous during the Civil War. So now you have tactics being taught that are based on Napoleon with a weapon that can kill a man at 400 to 800 yards. The results are disastrous for infantry. But the real crowd killer of the American Civil War is right behind you, and that's artillery. So, uh, you know, I thought we'd bring warriors up here to look at uh, a significant part of our history and study uh, where warriors uh, fought and died and so that we might take away the lessons and the key decisions that were made there. And with the help of the Marine Corps Association, we have assembled the world's uh, experts on this battle. That's John Buford over there. He's making a conscious decision here that my job is to delay the enemy and give the Army of the Potomac a chance to get up and get on that terrain you see behind us. He's willing to sacrifice his brigade, or his division of cavalry, I should say, to bring up the main force. Just thinking about this, you know, the combat of all these th thousands of lives, really, and putting myself in those shoes now that I've, I've seen combat and just multiplying that by thousands and thousands, and it's, I can't describe that feeling. It's, it's powerful. It's brought a tear to my eye a few times since I've been here. It, it's amazing the fact that that really did happen like that and having combat experience and everything that's I mean you you know like kind of what they went through in an aspect so I I really enjoyed it a lot and I, being that you can relate to it too it, it really is interesting and when we get on the other side you'll see it the slightly elevated ground to his front he thinks if they can get artillery up there and he's in a depression in the center of Lee's line. The Confederates and it then immediately put a significant amount of artillery on Hazel's Grove and Sickles Corps is decimated by plunging fire from the Confederates. So this will be Hazel's Grove deja vu. I love watching that. I love watching education and the realization, especially from warriors that have been to combat, understand the great challenges of combat, and then can apply it to a piece of our history. Incredible. It's very powerful. I can appreciate what soldiers before me have done. And now that I've been overseas and you know fought you know myself, it's. It hits you, you know, almost like a, a gut check. It's been a place that I've always wanted to go to, and uh, being from Minnesota, it's been more difficult, but now that I'm uh, at Walter Reed, it's possible, and because of organizations like this, it's possible. And uh, I think everyone, especially since we're from a military background, we can, we have a extra special appreciation for it. It's that spirit, the spirit that caused them to join the Marine Corps in the first part, is what we always want to bring out. And going to a place like Gettysburg, where so many key challenges and key leadership decisions were made, I think is a great, great place to start in making decisions that will take you through the rest of your life.